get something from it. You already have paid. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. Some of the greatest things you will ever learn and some of the greatest changes in your life will be due to pain. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. This is my new thing. It's time for the stand. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. There are certain things that you got to go through. There's some pitfall that you got to fall down. You have got to make a declaration to say, I am a conqueror. I'm unstoppable. There's nothing I can't achieve. You've got to be willing to harness your will. In spite of what you went through, in spite of how you suffered, you're still looking at your pain, saying to yourself, it is not over until I win. mistake that everybody makes is waiting waiting to fucking feel like it waiting for somebody to pick you waiting for the right time waiting for you to feel motivated it's not coming for the big stuff for the hard stuff it requires a push always has always will nobody is coming to save your ass it is up to you and so if you want to change anything about your life stop sitting around and wasting your goddamn life and start pushing yourself whether it's a fast or it is starting a business or it is changing how you talk to your spouse or it's changing the kind of parent that you are, you got one life. As soon as you open up your eyes, understand that you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. At that moment, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go. In other words, you can choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it. Because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. You don't get in life what you want. You get what you fight for. And when you decide that my future, my health, my marriage, my freedom, my happiness, my joy, my peace, my children is worth fighting for. You are securing your breakthrough. Not sitting back, not making that step, going for it. Don't you get covers thrown at you. No, I had to crawl my way to get to the first cover. I had to lie. I had to break all the rules. And how did I do it? Because I wanted it bad enough. So breaking the rules worked for me. Because these rules are someone else's rules, not the book I wrote. I'm not living that book. Iron Man magazine. I wanted to get that cover. And uh, what I found out, I did some studying, you know? It's not about this body. you got to have a business side. So this body you build in the gym is just the product. So now let's sell the product. Now the fun begins. The business entrepreneurship. How to market this product to somebody to buy it, right? Whether you're selling a supplement or a car or a text or yourself, it's an IPO you're trying to build the value of. 
in a very competitive market. You think someone's gonna come to you and give you a, a highlighted version, a script on how to live your life? And if that was the case, would you even go that way? How boring is that? It's the unknown about to be that gets me up in the morning. There's always a challenge. And as soon as a challenge is lost, guys, your will is dead. There's no reason to get up in the morning. When I get up in the morning, guys, you know, I've done some things in my life. I should be proud of it. Yes, I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, and I, I've learned so many lessons to be the person I am now, but I'm not defined by it. I'm just, I'm just equipped by it to, to have the knowledge. So what comes up next, that fork in the road, I can apply what I've learned to make the best decision forward. That's all it's about. But I look in the mirror, man, and anxiety fills me. I look in there, I'm like, you know, it's like, you know, and I'm not hung over or anything, man. I'm just like, you know, I'm just straight up like, and I'm, every morning I beat myself up because I don't know if there's enough time. You know, I believe in myself so much that there's more I can do on the tip of the iceberg, there's more I can be. But like, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, is there enough time? 36 years old, man. Starting to feel the aches a little bit, a little bit, you know? I'll take it away. So in that arena, we get to build things. And I'm not talking about the body. I'm talking about the arsenal to go to war with. That arsenal are things like integrity, honor, character, discipline, sacrifice, due diligence, sweat equity, to see it through. The difference is not the, the, the genetic code, the potential. It's the guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tell some unfortunate, stand back up, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. In the gym, we build that. We get up at 5.30 in the morning, it's pissing rain outside. Our competition is sleeping. I love that. I'm getting it. People ask me, what are your greatest moments? Every single one of them is failure. That's where I got to learn who I was. That's why I got the report card to know which part was fixed, which part was broken, so I can take my effort and reapply it. Fitness, I mean, I got a website that makes over $2 million a year. There's no one in the fitness industry that makes money. No one does. I didn't have, it, it forced me to do this. The reality of life, whatever that truth is, right? It's not as powerful as the perception on how you see it. No matter what happens, it's the perception on how you see it. You're having a shitty day. Wish you never woke up, right? Everything's Murphy's Law slapping you in the face 15 times. And all of a sudden, you're like this phone rings, right? You pick up the phone and it's really good news. You got a promotion maybe. You know, maybe it's like your mom's in remission of cancer. It's something great news, you know? You hang up the phone and you're just like, you just want to run the streets, you want to go to the gym, you want to call up your friend and say, hey buddy, I'm sorry, you want to make amends, you just want to live life and make it all right. What happened there? There's no power that comes through the phone that made you more capable. You're the same capable person before as you were after. Your perception has changed. And with that perception change, you get to understand time and time again that the way you see it is what's faulty. Not the situation at hand. So many people out there um, fail, not because they don't have the ability. It's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity. The other thing that's worst case scenario is fear. For many of you guys, it robs you of your true potential. Why is that? Because it's a parasite. It feeds off to you, the host. Its fuel is confidence when fear comes into your body it's as weak as state you can kill it right there in a second but you don't you turn your back to it you let it grow you let it feed off you just show up and be your best and that opportunity doesn't come that often everyone's like oh Craig you're lucky you got the cover you got this Craig you're lucky everything you do is luck bullshit because before it was luck it was a belief and every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. No, I remastered it, remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Start to finish a blueprint that every single module inside of it you create, you own. 
Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. There's no steroids in there because that might not work one day when you have to deliver. Can't have that thing in there. Get out of there. Luck cannot be in there because this is a universal term last I looked. Shit called good luck. There's dumb luck. I mean, there's bad luck. You can't have, he's out. Your girlfriend can't be in there. My family can't be in there because this right here is going to get me from the EKG at the top to stay at the top, but if it comes crashing down, it'll get me back up. It must be that way. Controlling all the assets in between. That's success, guys. It's the audition, you're going to the business meeting or whatever it might, might be, and you're sitting there, or you're going up to this hot girl to ask her out or something else. Your heart's beating, you're full of anxiety, you're, you're getting nervous and everything else. You're living, man, you're living. That's the greatest high in life. Some people shoot for it, some people snort for it. I'd rather sweat for it. And I go in there, man, and I'm just like, and I go, if I don't win, I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. And something will stick, which will never define me. It'll just re-motivate that my tactics work.